Steen here and for today's video we will have another addition to our Word It or Skip It series and I am so excited to try this because I heard a lot of things about this product and this product was really trending especially on TikTok it's a very trending product right now because it was proven to be mass proof for today's video, I will swatch and review all the shades of Etted House Fixing Tint. So I will start off by removing the current lip product I have on now. So to remove your lip makeup, you'll take a cotton pad and some micellar water. Place that on top, on top of your lips. Then fully. So I'll start off with shade number one. This is in the shade Anala Rose, and it comes in this packaging since this has been well known because it was proven to be mass proof i would also be testing that with this so i think shade number one is one of the most pigmented because it's a red tint so that will show if it will really transfer on our mass later on so i'll apply this <laughs> The spatula tip this comes with is also very convenient. So I'll give it some time to dry. Upon application, it's very lightweight, very hydrating. Those with the dewy and watery type of tints. And then later on, it turns into this matte and velvety type of finish. But is still very lightweight and it doesn't feel heavy on the lips so now that i've given it some time to dry i will test it out on this mask i have chosen a white mask so that you guys would clearly see and it didn't transfer at all it would be really weird if my sister or my parents walk in and I'm just like... So I'll try it on the other side as well. It didn't transfer at all. So their claims of being transfer proof with mass is really true. And I'll also try if it smudges. You can see how it just stays in place. So... To show you guys the swatch of the other products as well, I will be moving on to the second shade, which is Vintage Red. So this is shade number 2, Vintage Red, and I will swatch it for you guys. So just like the previous one, I think the spatula tip also makes it really easy to glide onto your lips and makes it easier to apply. I also love the shade of this one. It's a red type of tint but at the same time not too bright and is still very suitable for your everyday makeup. I feel like this types of shade will be also suitable for autumn season. So just like the previous one, I'll do a mass proof test because this one is also a red shade so it will really show. It didn't, it didn't transfer as well. We are looking for a tint that you could use under your mask because I think that's one of the concerns lately now that it's mandatory in most places to wear a mask. 
you will not want a tint or a lipstick that will look so smudged after wearing a mask so this one is one of those tints that are safe when wearing a mask so now that that has been removed i will swatch the third shade this is in the shade mellow peach so this is one of the peachy colors This one is more of the colors I will usually opt for for my daily look and it reminds me so much of spring for some reason and I'll just let it dry as well. Also give you guys a closer look on how it looks like. Now I will be removing that. So this is shade number 4. It's in the shade Ginger Milk Tea. And I will proceed to swatching that as well. Applying lip tints, I would often start at the inner part of my lips and then proceed to the outer. Ginger milk tea is more of a warm brownish shade. It really looks like a muted brown type of color. So I'll show you guys what it would look like if I put on another layer. I'll show you the finish of the product with a more full finish instead of gradient. And this is what it looks like. It really looks like a muted brown shade that you would use during autumn season. Now, I will be swatching the fifth shade next after I remove this. Now, this shade is actually the one I am looking forward to try because this is one of the shades I wanted to try from this line. So, this is shade number five in Midnight Mom. And this shade looks good on its own. But if you're into the gradient lip type of finish, this will be a great base color for that. And this is more of the shades you will use during summer or spring. Now I will be showing you guys shade number 6 which is soft walnut. Soft Walnut looks like those warm and deep. Um, it looks way deeper and darker than the Midnight Mauve. So since it's also one of those deep shades, I will also show you guys how it doesn't transfer on the mask. I think by far, this has been my favorite shade. So shade number 7 would be cranberry plum so looking at the packaging i feel like this shade will be more of suited for those with cool tone so like soft walnut this shade is also deep and darker and i think it also is suited for those with cool tones and for those into the gradient lip types, I feel like this would be really great for graduation. I will describe this as a deeper shade of pink. And I'll show you guys a closer look. So for the last shade, I will be swatching the shade number 8, which is Dusty Beige. And... It's one of those also suitable for those with cool tone and it's a muted color similar to midnight mauve and ginger milk tea i feel like this would be a great base if you're one of those into the gradient lip types so i will show you guys how this could work with a gradient lip type of finish i'll top it with 
the previous shade earlier, shade number 7, Cranberry Plum. And you can see how it looks much more vibrant by adding a pop of color in the inner part of your lips. And the gradient lip type of finish, like I mentioned before, is one that I really love because it also looks more natural. Overall, this product as a whole is worth it because it's true to its claim that it's mass proof and it also doesn't smudge easily. And I love how it has this very hydrating finish upon application but as you let it dry, it turns into this velvety and matte type of finish but is still very lightweight it doesn't feel heavy on the lips even after drying the packaging also looks good so i think that this is worth it and overall the shades that i really like shade number five midnight mauve number six soft walnut shade number seven cranberry plum and shade number one analog rose so overall these are my top four picks Shade number 1, Analog Rose, Midnight Moth, shade number 5, shade number 6, Soft Walnut, and shade number 7, Cranberry Plum. So, upon swatching the products, let me know down below which shade you think look best from this product line. And I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. And click the bell notification beside it so that you won't miss out on more videos in the future. And always remember to choose love and kindness. Bye!